The Conservatives are in total disarray, so this should be a great time for the opposition. Any sort of decently, properly organised Labour Party would be taking the Tories apart in both the political debate and in the polls. But where's the Labour Party? The answer is nowhere. Instead of taking the government to the cleaners, they, like the Tories, are tearing themselves apart, not over a profound issue like Brexit, but over anti-Semitism. An issue which Jeremy Corbyn could and should have sorted months and months ago. When Frank Field describes some of the hard left, who increasingly control the Labour Party, as intolerant, nasty thugs and bullies, I know from my own experience that he's right. But an even greater failing of the hard left is that they've always had a self-destruct button. When faced with any chance of success, they've always had the ability to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory, <laughs> which is exactly what they've been doing this summer. Do you know, I picked up an interesting thing over these last few weeks and some of the corridors of power, and I'm going to put this to you, Greg. Undoubtedly, as we've just discussed, Mrs May is in enormous trouble within her Conservative Party. There are some who would say that Mr Corbett's handling of the anti-Semitism issue and other issues within the Labour Party, and the fact that he tried to insert that caveat during the week when they had those discussions, he actually, potentially, is possibly in as much danger within his own party as yeah. Mrs May is within hers, yeah. and they're both heading Absolutely. into pretty ugly conferences. Well, Greg? I, I think that's true, but I, I'm not sure how you how they get rid of him, because I can see how the Conservative yeah, MPs the are going to get rid of Mrs May. I don't know, because it's the Ed Miliband devised Labour Party. I genuinely don't know how you get rid, well, rid of them. Yeah, but uh, mm. it's a very strange time, isn't mm. it, when actually the political leadership in this country is a bit of a but joke. Do you remember you said, you, you say, you said yeah. months and months ago, months ago, that actually many people in the Labour Party, they don't want to be the government. They just want to be a sort of force of opposition and an angry... Yeah. Do you think that's changing well, now? Well, I think there's... I think it's very... I mean, you, you've watched mm. John McDonald, the Shadow Chancellor, yeah. in the summer, and he quite clearly yeah, has, has been annoyed mm. by... that Corbyn hasn't sorted this out. The anti-Semitic anti yeah. thing. I mean, it's been ridiculous, isn't it? it the, Shame. When, you, when you see, it's, I mean, it's interesting at that meeting the other day, you were talking about mm. them voting for the caveat, which was a get out clause for, yeah. for anti Semitism. But anyway, it, it's it, that's the first time Corbyn has never had the room where he's always had yeah. everyone on side. This was, yes. this is me. And, and a couple of weeks before, both both McDonnell and John Landsman, the founder of Momentum, who is a Jew, uh, you know, th these two guys are saying to him, you have to sort this out yes. immediately. So when they're saying that, you know, he's got a problem. But, you know, I think the problem with the left, isn't it, that. They have a problem and they refuse to see it. It's like the anti-Semitism thing. They refuse to acknowledge that this is a problem. You know, you have that, that idiot Willsman, Peter Willsman, who was voted back onto the NEC last week. You have him saying, there, I've never seen anti-Semitism in the party. It's happening to Margaret Hodge, mm. writ large at the moment, and yet they're saying, we don't see it. And that has been the problem all along. And if there is a problem, they blame other people. They're blaming the right-wing media for the anti-Semitism. Yeah, they're denying they're, it of one thing, accepting it, embracing Rab it, and just yeah. laughing at it in the other They're blaming other rabbis it's for really making it's up it's stories. Insulting, it is I've got, insulting. I've got a clip from Frank Field, you know, the MP yeah. who yeah, is... Yeah. They are trying to deselect. It's the only decent it, one they have it's left. It's worth seeing. We must be free from the intolerance which has spread from that debate uh, or perhaps gone up from the local parties where small groups of people think by shouting, shouting, hollowing and doing God knows what, they can bully their way to success. I mean, you have to say, I think, to start with, that Frank Field is seen in the Labour Party as one of these people who could have a, a, a disagreement in a room on his own. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, he, there is like something... Nick. Yeah, yeah, a bit yeah. like me. Uh, <laughs> I do it professionally, <laughs> though. But, 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 we, but also, it. anyone who's ever spin in the yeah. Labour Party a period of time knows there's this yeah. chunk of the far left yeah. who is exactly right. Yeah. They think they can, we need they to bring can be Rachel thugs in. and get yeah. their let, way in. Let me just say, Rachel, I promise, but, but we must just get what Mr Corbyn said as recently as last month yeah. about the anti-Semitic issue, and he goes as follows. I do acknowledge there is a real problem that Labour is working to overcome, and I accept that if any part of our national community feels threatened, anxious or vulnerable, not only must that be taken at face value, but we must ensure all those fears are put to rest. I want Jewish people to feel at home in the Labour Party, be able to play their full part in our work to take our country well, forward. Well, I wish he his actions matched through his words. I mean, as speaking as someone who sort of sat around watching this over the summer, it was a bit like Gary Lineker's definition of a football match. You know, 22 men kick a ball around for 90 minutes and the Germans win. With this, it's two months of rage on Twitter and then momentum wins, isn't yes. it? Yeah. It's, yeah. it's been absolutely a futile own goal.
And you have to wonder why what was potentially a government in waiting consumed itself over a pointless and destructive and terribly um, damaging row over racism. But we have an explanation as to why they did this oh. from Liam Young. Anti-racism is incredibly important to the Labour Party and to Labour Party members and I believe that it's actually really important that we do get this right and we get it right on both yeah, sides. You've got this right in, ter in, I know, but in then terms we could, of endorsing... But, but then I think in some ways that demeans the argument about anti-racism because we could have got on to attacking the Tories on Brexit and so on. But I think it's actually right that the Labour Party sorts this out okay. um, properly on both sides okay. and we don't, we so, don't undermine how important so anti-racism so is. Richard, well, I don't think they did sort it out, and we just might mm. just finish by saying that in terms of traction on this issue, but only 5% of the public actually noticed this anti-Semitism row that has taken the country, but do, taken the party down. But don't you think down. that the Labour Party sees anti-Semitism as a, as a lesser form of evil? That, they, because they don't see the Jews as a legitimate race, and so they, they, they give much more credence to racism directed at other minority ah. groups than they do to Jewish people. Now, you can't talk about the Labour Party ooh, per se. That's too broad. It, it's okay. too broad. Well, there well, are the sections of the okay, Labour Party, yeah, Party to whom have always been obsessed about Palestine and have always yes, been mm. obsessed about Israel. It's a massive support. I'm a nail on the head. I think if Jeremy Corbyn's a problem in this whole Thing. Yes, and I think if Jeremy Corbyn didn't leave the Labour Party, we'd have a Labour government over us now. Yeah. Yeah. That, well, I mean, Jeremy believe. Corbyn is classic yeah. of the left, isn't it? That yeah. you can never, you can never be pragmatic. You can never say, "All oh, right, this is a real issue, but let's park it and let's get on with the, what matters to the public." They can never do that. The left. They, they, I mean, the really interesting if you've ever been in the Labour Party and, and seen the left. You know, there are different sections of the left. They spend more time trying to defeat each other yeah. than they do the You said you'd thing. seen the bullying that Frank Field referred to, yeah. all the nastiness. What, what, what do you recall then from your experiences? Oh, I... Well, there were always Trotskyist groups that came in and out of the Labour Party. And the periods in which they came in, they were always extremely unpleasant to whoever was in control. Mm -hmm. Always. Uh, I mean, you know, it's almost... I mean, the far right's the same. Let's not mm. kid ourselves. The far right is exactly the same with the, the far right moving back into the Tory party. They will be deeply unpleasant. But, you know, you said before that, that the Labour Party issued a statement saying they're going to protect the Jewish people within the party. That's simply not true. There's a, there's a story in the papers today saying four out of ten Jewish people would leave this country if Corbyn became PM. Now, that's shocking. And Lord Sachs, the, the yeah. chief rabbi, made his, he made a statement last week, and, and he just said that he thinks Corbyn is more evil than... Enoch Powell. He says he thinks that Cor the speeches Corbyn have made recently are, are more evil than the River of Blood speech because they are more divisive. And, and Sachs said, this is an interesting what he said, Jews have been in this country for 362 years and never before has there been a situation where they are asking themselves, is this the country to bring their kids up in? Which is shocking. It's shocking. Uh, so and, I don't and he could have, he's, the I, Labour I, Party... I, I, I mean, I'd be kinder to, to Corbyn than that. I don't think he is anti-Semitic. I, I don't think I think his problem... He's surrounded his, by people who are. Yes, and he's, he's surrounded by some people who are. He's but they, they've got a problem with Israel. Yes. Yeah. That's yeah. the basic problem. Yeah. The, and, and the foundation. And, but it's so typical of the people of the left. They can't mm. let anything go. They can't say, all right, we'll park that They're and deal with it later. They're terrible politicians. Yes. I mean, they should be yeah. fighting the opposition. They're fighting yes, themselves.